So Partners in Food Solution is a nonprofit organization that General Mills created about five years ago to link the technology and know-how of big food companies like General Mills to smaller uh, and medium-sized food processors uh, in Africa. We do this with, through, uh, with, through volunteers, a volunteer network of uh, scientists and technologists by helping those processors and helping them get better and more efficient and raising their quality and, and this sort of thing. They in turn then demand uh, more ingredients and more food from local farmers which is really key. It's really key to development of the sector in Africa. They also they employ people within their four walls and they create better, more nutritious, great tasting products that African consumers want. So the consumer wins as well. It lifts a lot of people out of poverty. And I, I think that's really you know, the, the core idea of Partners in Food Solutions. The latest partner, Hershey, which is signing right. on today. Right. You normally don't think of chocolate as a staple you know, to help solve the hunger problem in Africa. Yeah. How does chocolate fit in here? Well, it's a, it's a very, very important crop and the source of livelihood for many small farmers in the Ivory Coast and Ghana, uh, for example. And so Hershey, by coming in, not only do they bring all of their technical capability, but they bring an on-the-ground presence in Ivory Coast, Ghana, and they really are going to help us extend our reach. Do you have a personal attachment or story? Uh, is, is there a reason that you felt compelled to give yourself? Well, uh, you know, it, just in going to conferences like this or the World Economic Forum and, you know, it, it becoming more aware and more immersed in the problem of food uh, insecurity in Africa and, and hunger and just and, and, and understanding through those conferences that there are very few companies that have the capability to really make a difference uh, on that problem. There are maybe 10, you know, in the world of which General Mills is one. And then I've visited, I have visited uh, PFS sites uh, in Africa and it is, it's fantastic. Uh, it's very moving, it's, and it's just fantastic, the progress that's being made by these companies and the farmers that they touch, you know, who are living in poverty. And now because of a more stable demand for their food products, um, it has lifted them up uh, fantastically, it lifted their incomes, allowing them to send their kids to school. All the good things that happen when incomes rise, and we're seeing that uh, through, uh, you know, upstream from, from our, uh, our, the food processors that we're helping. What does General Mills and its partners like Cargill and now Hershey, yeah. what do they get out of this beyond doing mm -hmm. the right thing, which is important, yeah. Yeah. but is there, a, is there a business reason, is there a, you know, a corporate sort of mindedness about yeah. this as well? It is, it is the right thing to do, and so that's a lot of the reason why we do it. I will also tell you that um, it is, uh, the, 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 our employees who work on these kinds of things, and General Mills employees volunteer almost 90%. We have 400 people at General Mills who volunteer for PFS, and I'm sure a very big number at Cargill as well. And they tell us this is the most gratifying work they've ever done. Uh, in their careers, it's very rewarding, uh, and um, uh, and it, it you know it's pr it, it sort of solidifies our corporate values. I mean, it's a very powerful statement of what we believe, and it, it, it increases commitment to the company, uh, to General Mills, and that's a huge thing, and and so that's a, a, that's a very important benefit.